Department host an essay contest. I want to thank uh, the librarians in our youth services department. Uh, this year they read through uh, over 80 essays um, and today we have our winners uh, that are going to read your essay for you. Uh, they were given the quote from Dr. Martin Luther King, to be a bush if you can't be a tree, if you can't be a highway, just be a trail. Um, so they are going to be sharing their thoughts with you. I'd like to invite our first reader um, from Garrison Jones Elementary, and it is Evie Giselle Sturgis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Evie is in the fifth grade, and she is in the dual language program at Garrison Jones Elementary. Martin Luther King Jr. is a man who had a dream, a dream to change the world. These, words that these are words that come from someone who changed history. Martin Luther King Jr. said in a speech to middle school students to encourage them to push themselves to their goals. He spoke proudly and true to these students. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. Be a if you can't be a highway, just be a trail. If you can't be a sun, be a star. For it isn't by size that you win or fail, be the best of whatever you are. These words mean to me that if you can't, be, if you can't do something big, there is always another important role you can play. This matters because I want to be an architect when I grow up. I will reach for that goal, and if that goal does not come through, then I will try to reach for my next goal of being an engineer. To continue, Martin Luther King Jr. didn't just give the speech. He stood up and owned, and owned his words. Some people think violence is a better way to solve a problem, but Martin Luther King Jr. didn't believe in violence. He thought that if you could stand up for yourself in little nonviolent ways, you can fix any problem. Martin Luther King Jr. told those words to the kids that no matter how hard something is, don't get stuck. Keep going to reach your dream and never get up. My name is Evie Giselle Sturgis, and thank you for listening to my speech. All right, so we have an architect or an engineer in the house. We're so proud of you. Great job, Evie. I'm Alina Mayacha, and she is from Garrison Jones Elementary. Sarah is uh, also in the fifth grade in the dual language program. Have you ever thought of these words? Be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a highway, just be a trail. If you can't be a sun, be a star. For it isn't by size that you win or fail, be the best of whatever you are. These words were spoken by Martin Luther King Jr. And I believe these words were to inspire others. These words were to inspire others because in the speech, it states that if you can't be something big, be something small. For instance, if you can't be a highway, just be a trail. I believe this means you may be small. However, you will still make a big difference by being yourself. No matter what, if you're shy or even afraid, but just be yourself. I think this is because highways are very busy and a trail is small, but it doesn't matter. There is a lot of people still on there and easier to get around. You should be yourself and try hard. Don't be afraid and do your best. And like Doc Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, for it isn't by size that you win or fail, be the best of whatever you are. As a result, I believe that Martin Luther King Jr. spoke these words to motivate others to be themselves no matter what and always be the best of whatever you are. Martin Luther King Jr. essay 
contest winners. So Phyllis, would you please bring our, our winners forward? Great, thank you, Mayor, Vice Mayor, Commissioners, Phyllis Gorshi, Library Director for the City of Dunedin. Um, and we just got to hear about a wonderful way to raise funds for our Dunedin youth, and now we're gonna recognize some of our Dunedin youth. Uh, the City of Dunedin Martin Luther King Jr. Essay Contest um, is held in partnership with our Martin Luther King Day event. And so I wanna thank our Parks and Recreation Department and Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church for the wonderful event that they held. Our essay winners uh, read their essays at that event and uh, the essays can be found online also through our city. Um, this year's winners come from uh, Dunedin Highland Middle School and Garrison Jones Elementary. Uh, so I wanna recognize their principals, Michael Vasallo and Jen Tapia uh, for uh, supporting this program. And I think what is really impressive is uh, the teachers that are involved. And tonight we have Mr. Milo from Dunedin Highland Middle School who was a City of Dunedin Teacher of the Year and uh, Mrs. Valentino from Garrison Jones Elementary. And we have such wonderful teachers in our city and just the past two years and how they have worked. And I just, I wanna thank them for um, all of their support of our Dunedin schools and our program. So I want to call up our winners. Um, we have Hannah Bruce, Evie Giselle Sturgis, Justina Kakula, Sarah Molina Mahecha and Jamari McQueed, if they could come up. Um, so, uh, with our Parks and Recreation Department, we have a special certificate of recognition signed by the mayor um, with a nice little gift to Barnes & Noble, of course, because we love reading. Um, so, I'd like to present that to Hannah. And Evie, here's yours. Uh, Justina's side here. And Sarah. And Jamari. So congratulations. Thank you all. Yay. We're too quick, but we're going to do some pictures outside. Okay. So thank you so much for recognizing this program. Thank you. And thank you guys. Thank you. The, the essays were wonderful. And if you didn't get a chance to hear them, you could certainly read them online. Thank you.